Well, hello there, Virgo. How are you guys doing? I hope everything is good and you guys are doing well, feeling good in the sunshine in the summer. Welcome, welcome, Virgo. I love you guys so much. Beautiful Virgos. You guys are gorgeous. You guys are powerful. Boys and girls, all of you, divine masculine and feminine, I love you guys. Truly love you guys very much. I've said it a lot in my, my channel. Um, I think maybe it's because I'm a Capricorn rising, I keep repeating it, but I love Virgos very much. I'm partial to Virgos. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this reading is for the month of June. And the first deck, and the deck I'm going to be using first is the this beautiful Fertari Tarot deck. Um, and then in the end, I will give you guys three questions, yes or no answers, with the Angels and Gemstone Guardians cards by... Margaret and Lembo um, and this was gifted to me by one of my subscribers thank you so much for your generosity you guys are amazing for all of your donations and all of the um, gifts that I get from you guys even though the channel is small people have been amazing and, and it, you know it's such a blessing and they get blessed as well because of doing all this it's just such a good thing to do thank you so much Okay, you guys, so let's see what your first card is. Ooh, Six of Swords, Virgo. So Six of Swords is a very powerful card of victory. It is a card of victory in this deck. It's also a card of transformation, and it could also mean travel or distance or maybe you're in another country different country to where you were born or you were where you lived or the other person is also in another country but he's talking mainly about a victory for you virgo this is a big victory it's not a simple victory when the six of swords card comes out the six of card uh, the six of sword card also in this deck is about something happening quickly so it won't take a long time especially if you've been waiting for something for a while which I feel this has been the case someone's been feeling like they've been parked <laughs> somewhere um, but don't worry they're saying that a lot of things are gonna happen now soon in the month of June and beyond and before and beyond that will make you feel otherwise these readings are timeless so doesn't necessarily mean that something will happen in June or it could be in May or, or whenever but the readings are really timeless and it talks about this event that's in your life that's going to happen and you know this is a description of it and so that you recognize and, and make them the most out of it and so that you do not lose hope about certain things I do feel here a very strong connection to the Sun or I'm feeling the heat of the Sun this thing could definitely happen these days because it's uh, summertime, so it's like, you know, it's almost summer, like in the middle of the summer will be very hot, very beautiful for you guys. I'm seeing palm trees, I'm seeing, I'm seeing peacock feathers. Does someone have peacock feathers or something with a peacock feather on it? I don't know, but this is, if you've got that, then this reading, listen to it carefully. It, it, it definitely is calling on your energy. So this is a victory. This could also talk about difference in background it's definitely to do with love and it's a definitely a very powerful love and it's definitely it could be a reconciliation for those of you who want reconciliation or someone coming to you from the past but i really do feel that this is something new and it's divinely gifted to you okay maybe there's another relationship that you've been thinking about but this is something new for most of you I am feeling that you are powerful, Virgo. You yourselves, you're very powerful and spiritual. You can see things as well before they happen. You've got this strong spirituality with you. Um, and, you know, it's not a, a, a joke. It really is powerful that you have. So trust your instincts and trust what your instincts tell you. The next card here is the Queen of Pentacles. And this is a typical Virgo card because... Burgers are usually very hard working and established and they've got their own. But I do feel that you're getting some kind of windfall of money or improvement in your financial situation as well. 
connected it could be connected to this relationship maybe this person that's coming into your life is someone wealthy or has money it's, he, he will definitely will have money if he's a Capricorn but <laughs> you know um, but I am seeing this energy with you I'm also seeing someone manifesting or praying for something it's like almost like the high priestess energy mixed with the with the queen of pentacles so you could be a reader you could be someone psychic or just someone spiritually gifted which is very normal for virgos you know you guys i believe in you guys i think you guys are incredible and you do have that power you have the power to bless others and to heal others so please keep us all in your prayers and your and your meditations Thank you so much, you guys. Someone here is very spiritual. I'm feeling the energy. Thank you for coming to the reading. You're fabulous. The card at the bottom of the deck is temperance. So it's like telling you this thing is going to come in hot and heavy. Buckle up and get ready because you need to keep calm once it comes in. Which I'm sure you being an earth sign, you will. But you just need to be extra calm. <laughs> because I think this is something amazing that wants to happen. For you Virgo. If you feel like you've had, I mean, this is not for all of you, but someone here is, I'm picking up on the energy very strongly. Someone of, um, someone has, feels as if their heart has been broken or like they're feeling unloved, like there's no one there. The spirits are saying, take the time to nurture yourself and just know that you are loved by divine. Open your heart and have like more compassion for yourself and for others. Drink plenty of water and stay calm because this is gonna definitely come. Okay, no joke, it really is coming. So don't worry. This um, it could be, like I said, a healing of an old relationship. But for most of you, this is new. They are also saying, let go of control. It doesn't have to happen exactly when we want. It can happen at any time and the divine thinks that it's the best time for us. Um, but for you, Virgo, I just feel it's going to happen very quickly. So don't worry. Never mind. <laughs> but I think that, you know, it's just, you know, it's good to just leave the outcome in the hands of divine, whatever the situation is, because then it manifests quickly. When we, struck, when we fight with the outcome, when we want it now, we want it our way, we want it this way, we want it that way, um, then it just becomes a tug of war between us and the divine energies and it doesn't, it takes a while after that for the energy to re rebalance itself, for something to come through. This message is for someone, not for all of you, yeah? Just take it easy, it's definitely gonna happen. The next card you have is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is a beautiful card. Um, it can talk about a very friendly young man, a nice and honest young person. Could be blonde. Sometimes this is about a blonde person. Um, it talks, the Knight of Cups also talks about something is arriving, it's approaching. Um, arrival and approaching, progress, some kind of proposal. Someone could be proposing to you, Virgo, you're proposing to someone. Um, self it's about self-control and invitation of that energy and encouragement of it. So when the person comes in, it's instinctive to kind of look away and pretend that we don't want the person. But if this person manages to talk to you, obviously I'm not encouraging anyone to do anything if there's no hard evidence that the person likes you. <laughs> And they've talked to you, if you're a feminine, the masculine needs to break, the sinus need to talk to you. Um, if he doesn't talk to you, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i mostly defined feminine in my energy, so I know how that feels. Um, and I, I don't really understand why some masculines think that the feminines need to go after them or they need to do something in the beginning. This is not really the way that things go naturally, usually. Usually the, the feminine is receptive and she waits for the masculine. I am feeling a masculine coming towards you. Or if you're a masculine Virgo, you are going towards someone, but you will be received in a very nice way. Maybe someone is fearing judgment or fearing that the other person will judgment or judge them 
um, maybe this person could be that this person that's coming towards you, Virgo, is worried about you judging them. But that's not going to happen. I feel a very good reception here. Whoever this is, is going to be received in a very good way. And fair way and beautiful way. There's a lot of love here. And this is, like I said, this is a divine connection. Okay. Oh, wow. You got the next card, you guys. The Hermit, which is your card, Virgo. <laughs> the Hermit. So this person could be a healer as well. Um could be someone who is um, in the medical profession or someone who does any kind of healing work. Um, I think both of people connected to this connection are feeling alone at the moment. But if they're not together, they're missing each other, even energetically. Even if this has not happened already, this is what's going on. Yeah, this is the 411. <laughs> The person is missing you, Virgo, and you are missing them. So I think the masculine is, you know, needs to go forward with it. Um, and they will be received in a very beautiful way. I really feel this is going to come together before the July in whatever, like, circumstance. This is definitely going to start showing before July um, or the 7th of June. Between now and the 7th of June could be something that will happen around that time uh, for some of you. But like I said, the readings are timeless, okay? So take it how it resonates, you guys. But just know that this is a beautiful connection that's coming towards you. In some instances, these readings are about business deals and about success, financial and educational. Uh, for some of you, this will be the case. So the Six of Swords will be a pass or the completion of a, of a deal. The Queen of Pentacles is someone coming towards you with a good offer or you going towards that person with a good offer. The Knight of Cups is, is the same. It's like, you know, something happening, arriving, being now, and the Hermit is your card, Virgo. So I feel here the person, whoever is involved in this connection, they're very sure about the other person. Um, and, and I think that this masculine is sure about you, Virgo, if you are the feminine. He will be very sure. He will see you. He will recognize that you stand out. There's not many like you. Someone here is connected to the energy of the fairies as well. And esoteric, beautiful energies. Someone likes crystals. Um, and is connected to the angels. Which reminds me, let's do the questions for you, you guys. But it's, it's beautiful. It's coming together one way or another. It will happen, you know, you'll see. Let's see what the cards have to say. The angel and gemstone guardians cards so i want you to ask your fir first question for me virgo let's go let's see what the answer is that's the question for me i love these cards with the crystals they're very nice right so the, <laughs> the first one that you got is the angel of protection so this is a connection that is divinely protected. It's very hard to break it, okay? I don't think it can be broken, really, from what I can see. The affirmation that the angel is giving you here is that I am safe and sound. I am out of harm's way. All is well. I surround myself with trustworthy people. I am blessed. I am always divinely protected. I am enveloped in a sphere of goodness and well-being. So you are covered by the hand of the divine. The connection is protected. If you feel like you need extra protection, the black tourmaline crystal will be very good for you. The question, the answer to this question is yes. And it says, focus your intention on deflecting the negativity. Know that your angels and spirit guides are watching out for you okay so someone's looking after you from spirit virgo or someone spiritual even maybe someone's doing prayers for you or that's you yourself but tourmaline is very good to get rid of any kind of negativity negative energy okay and even if you feel sometimes which is normal if you're not in the connection and you feel someone's coming towards you and you don't know where that direct which direction that person's coming from exactly it can make us feel negative and the tourmaline is good even to have it when the person comes into your life because it will keep negativity out of your way basically 
the connection is very strong and unshakable though it's very powerful and it will definitely come to you know a state of healing and a state of completion okay let's do the second question for you guys Part the angels want. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the angel of loving relationships, Virgo. Come on now. There you go. This is your confirmation. It says, I love myself and I enjoy my own company. Typical Virgo. <laughs> I'm grateful for my friends and other people of importance to me. And I enjoy spending time with them. My heart is open. I encourage romance in my life. That's beautiful. The crystal is rose quartz. It will help you balance your heart chakra and heal and be ready for this connection or for this connection re reigniting basically. Um, and, and it says begin by romancing yourself. You are worthy of a deep fulfilling relationship, love yourself as you wish to be loved, cultivate your friendships, and be open to romance. Oh, that's beautiful, Virgo, come on. <laughs> but Virgos are loving by nature, you're all full of hearts, you guys, and I think it's important to love yourselves, um, We, for us all, really, to love ourselves, to look after ourselves, to be in the best possible state, whether it be spiritually, physically, or whatever. Um, and, you know, um, for us to really hasten and speed up these things coming into our lives. I've noticed something from my work throughout the years that the uh, spirit doesn't bring things to us when we're not ready. We, when we're ready, then they come. And by ready, I mean especially spiritual and emotionally. <clears throat> Basically, I mean, a person will love you, whatever your physical appearance is. It's at the end of the day, if the connection is true, the physical appearance won't really matter that much. Um, but I do feel that both people in this connection look great. And I know, Virgos, you really are famous for being beautiful. Stay beautiful, you guys, and prepare yourselves for a lot of love coming through for you. I'll finish this with a prayer for you guys. My dear God, look, please come into the live of the sign of Virgo, wherever it may be in anyone's charge, whoever's watching this reading, my God, please open the do closed doors for them that they thought have been closed. Give them favor, give them acceptance, let them open up and accept themselves and love themselves and let their love shine and radiate and attract the, the most beautiful, most handsome, most beautiful, most gorgeous person into their lives. Give them, my God, prosperity and abundance in many ways, multiple sources of income on many vibrations. May they draw in the, the energy of abundance in all its forms. My God, please give them the victory that they deserve and bring to them the good news that they deserve. It has arrived, it is approaching, and it is here now. My God, thank you very much for that. Open the ways, open the communication, open the love, open the care, open the compassion, and let these two people be happy together and achieve the most amazing miracles, my God. Amen, amen, and I mean, thank you, you guys, so much. Remember to share, like, and subscribe if you get a moment. It means a lot to me and to the Spirit, and we love you all very much, always, unconditionally. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Be blessed always, Virgo. Big kiss from us. Thank you.